All right. So again, guys, my name is Evan with Scholar Marketing. And today's class is going to be the referrals overview. So again, if you're here with me live, please go ahead and put those questions in the chat. Um, if you are watching this back on recording, um, and if you have any questions, feel free um, to go ahead and reach out to us, support at scottleroymarketing.com. Mary Beth, we will be going over this as well. Okay. So for today, um, with the referrals overview, um, you can see that we're already signed into command. Uh, this is going to be command where you go to agent.kw.com and log in with your KW username and password. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start today by going to our referrals profile to make sure all the information is accurate. Uh, you can find the referrals profile by going to your name at the top right. And you're going to go ahead and just click on it. And then we're going to see, you're going to see that you have the section here for referral profile. So once you give that a click, you're going to see that it takes you to um, this new page. Again, this is your referral profile. This is what people are going to see when they are searching in the referrals section. Sorry, I'm still just letting some more people into the room. Again, this is an internal profile. So what I mean by that is only other people that the only other people that will see this are other KW agents or staff member. So this is strictly for KW uh, referral networks. So this isn't public facing whatsoever. Okay. So to actually to actually see your profile information, um, again, we're going to go to the referrals profile and we're gonna go ahead and look at how we can edit this. And then I'll show you how to how it fully displays. So we're going to go ahead and click on the edit profile. And you'll notice your name, your first and last name, and also your KW UID. These are great um, grayed out fields, meaning that you are not able to edit them. Um, if you feel like any of these three fields are incorrect, um, definitely encourage you to reach out to your local market center uh, staff so they will be the ones that would be able to adjust this on the back end through command MC. Um, or you can reach out to KW support via the live chat option in command. Now, any of the other fields that you notice are white, so we are able to adjust those. So you are able to adjust the email that is shown. Um, if you have a purchased email domain, that you prefer to um, use for referrals, you can change, update that information here. Um, as well as um, a primary phone number or mobile phone number. You are also able to um, add your service areas here below as well. And I, I do want to actually back up and just to let you know that if you do have an um, office number that you would like to um, include as well, you can put that um, here as well um, under your primary phone or your mobile phone. Just make sure that you have your mobile phone number. If you want, prefer that as your primary, you can have your office phone over here or more vice versa. That way there's multiple um, sources of contact for you. So in the service areas, um, these are going to show how when agents are searching for, um, when other agents are searching for an agent that services a certain area, this is what they're going to be able to see and find um, and search what agents are actually servicing these areas. So there's actually um, two different ways that you are able to do this. You'll notice that the cities are um, in each individual name. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm sorry, we're going to delete those cities. 
so you can actually remove them by just clicking and backspacing. And then you can type in, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You are able to do, you can do, um, say, Orlando, uh, Tampa, separating them with a comma, or you can do it each individually. So you could do Orlando, let's just say Orlando, Florida, and you can click add new. You can do Tampa, Florida. I cannot type today, sorry. Um, and you can do it that way by adding a multiple. So we'll go ahead and show you about how it would look doing it uh, two separate ways. So we'll do Tampa and San. And then, so we'll go ahead and do it. Um, well, I'll add it in that way so that way you can see what it looks like when we go to the referrals profile. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and we're going to see that the next section shown is your bio. Um, again, this is going to be the information that um, people see whenever they search in the referrals applet. So this just kind of gives them a little bit of you know information about you. Um, some agents do use the same bio that they have on their website. Um, if you like to use that, that is completely up to your preference. Um, if you want to kind of cater this bio to be a little bit more um, for your referrals, by all means, you can do that as well. Scrolling down, you're going to see that you do have all of your um, social media links here that you can add. So agents can find your social media profiles. They can look you up, things like that. If you wanted to opt out of the referral network um, and not be searchable or discoverable in the referrals applet, um, you can simply turn off this toggle switch here um, and then that will remove you from being able to be found. And then scrolling down, you do have some show on profile page. Um, so these are things that you can have shown when somebody searches you, such as the closed units, so the number of transactions, um, listing sold units, buys, um, buy sales closed units, lease closed units, and how long you've been with KW. These are going to be preferential to, again, how you feel, what you want shown or not. Once you are happy with everything, with all the information, you go ahead and make sure you click Save Changes. Oh, I don't know why it removed that. So as you see, if you miss something, it will show the, the little red screen there. So you have to make sure you add uh, whatever's missing. So as you can see here that it does show service areas. It shows as Orlando, Tampa, Sanford, or it'll show like Tampa, Florida, Sanford, Florida, um, if you have it listed out individually. And then we'll also go ahead and look in just a moment how that looks on the back end of the referral profile also. I do see that there's some questions. I'm gonna go ahead and look into the chat real quick. When I clicked on the prof, prof, I'm sorry, profile referral set, looks like this user is no longer active. Um, Jackie, so with that, there's a couple different things. Um, if you are a brand new agent, meaning um, brand new to Keller Williams, um, it may take some time. The referral section can kind of be, it take a little bit to actually get kicked in and get going while it's collecting like a bunch of data and stuff. So if you are have been an agent with Keller Williams for a while now, you may need to reach out to KW support directly. Um, so that way they can go ahead and take a look at that for you. Um, but typically, that's if you're a newer agent, it just takes a while for that to kick in. Again, Mary Beth, same thing for you or anybody else that may be experiencing that issue. Um, yeah, you just might need to reach out to KW support if you've been with KW for, I'd say if you've been with KW longer than a month, if it's still within your first month with Keller Williams, I would say just maybe give it a little bit of time. I'm sorry I missed the beginning. It's not a problem. Uh, what was the refer the referred network toggle? The referral network is that what you're talking about? The toggle here. 
Okay, Mary Beth, then just, just go ahead and reach out to QW support, then they're going to be the ones that's going to have to adjust that for you and fix it on the back end. Yeah, so the referral network, this um, toggle switch here is if you want your profile shown on the referral network, if you want to be discoverable when other agents are searching for a referral agent through the referral applet, which we're going to go over in just a moment where like the whole referral network. So if you want to be discoverable, then you can make sure that this is opted in. If you don't, just make sure you click this and to where it's disabled. How do you view the edit profile page from Connect? So you mean, how do you go here? So I'm not, I've never actually really tried to go through Connect that way, to be honest. Um, that is a good question. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm not really sure if you can, to be honest. That is interesting. Yeah, I've, I've never actually really gone through Connect to try to do it that way. But if you just click in your name in the top right and click referral profile, it should take you right into it. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump back into it. We got some more people joining us. Hang on one moment. Let me let them in real quick. All right. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to your our referral section by clicking the command tab. And then we're going to go over here to the left hand side where you'll see all these different icons. Um, and we're going to go to the referral section, which is going to kind of look like the little person in a raindrop. Now, if you have um if you are new with command and you haven't quite learned you know what tabs these are even though if you hover over them it does pop out the name of it you are also able to click on the red kw square and it will also pop out all of the different um names of the tabs for you as well just a little pro tip um so you may get familiar with it if you'd like all right so now that we're going to go ahead and dive in We got some more people joining. Okay, so now this is our referrals dashboard. Um, so our referrals dashboard is just kind of has a little bit of an overview section. So the referrals, um, the you have your different sections here. Um, and sometimes this section too, when you click the referrals, it may take a while to load. If you're seeing that it's loading really slow or it's not loading quick, you may just need to click the refresh button at the top um, and see if that works for you a little quicker. Command can sometimes be a little iffy. So typically if command's running really slow or certain pages aren't loading, that may most of the time means KW is doing some kind of update to that section which updates are always great, but sometimes it just causes the system to run slower. So sometimes you just gotta have a little patience with command. Okay. So from here, this is what is again, referred to as the um, referrals dashboard. Uh, it's just kind of a preview of the um, other tabs that you have here and also your referral network. And so I'm just going to briefly go over all of the different options uh, that you have here, and then we'll jump into a little further um, into the tabs. And I'm sorry if I'm pausing a lot. People, people are joining us, so I'm just kind of admitting people and looking over. So sorry about that if it seems a little spaced out, a little slower. So at the top, right here for the reviews, uh, these are just quick click uh, buttons that you'll notice um, have pending invites um, or like pending referrals, things like that. If you have pending invites, this is a hyperlink that you can click and it'll take you over to, um, to those pending invites. So that way you can review them um, and you can either accept them or um, ignore them. 
It could also include the ones that you um, have also sent out uh, to other agents. So if you're if you're waiting on the agent to accept your invite, um, and then you'll be able to go here and you'll have your you'll be able to see that your pending referrals. Uh, these are the pending referral sections again. Um, if you have any pending referrals, um, you'll be able to see that here. Sorry. All right, next you have the received. These are referrals sent to you by other agents um, and you've received them. These are the referrals that you have sent out. And again, you would see numbers here if you have actually had, um, if you've had some. So then going down, you'll notice right here, you have your referral network. Uh, we currently have 403 agents in our referral network, and you can build this as little or as large as you would like. And right here, you have a search bar. If you want to search through names, um, you can scroll down and kind of see them going through um, that way, or you can just simply click here and search. We're going to click on show more. Now you are also able to um, click on these down arrow, the little triangle here, and that's going to give you all the information about this particular agent that's in your network. It's going to give you a preview about this agent as far as the location, their bio, uh, the information is pulling from that referral, that referral profile that we just reviewed for you. So you can see their phone numbers, their email address, you can also create uh, private notes right here. So when you create a note, this is just for you to view. Um, they don't have any access to see this, edit this, view this. Um, so anything you put here, they will not be able to see. And next to that, you're gonna see some agent stats, such as the number of transactions in the last 12 months, sales volume, and the average deal size. Again, this is that information from the beginning when we went to the, um, when we updated the referral, your referral profile section. So you'll, uh, again, this is where that's gonna pull from. Over on the right-hand side, uh, these are um, the referral statistics. If we actually had um, a referral with this agent, it would review here as well. Um, currently, obviously there is none. So you'll see that it says coming soon. We also kind of just uh, suspect that this is uh, this is uh, this has been coming soon for a moment. So this should be updating soon. Um, again, the, the statistics it should also be the referral statistics with other people. But again, it's still coming soon. So we'll have to wait and see when that actually rolls out. What that's going to completely entail. All right, so next you'll notice up here at the top that there is um, some more information, such as a star you can add to your favorites. You're able to add tags. And then you can also see like location and things like that. And you have the send referral option straight from there. If we wanted to add this agent as a favorite, you can just click a star. And then when you are scrolling through, you can kind of see that this kind of stands out as one of your favorites, uh, favorite referral agents as well. You can also unclick it straight from here as well. I do see some more questions, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to the chat real quick. Is this just for KW agents or can we refer to agent outside of KW through command? Um, this is only for KW agents. Command does not have anything to do with any other agents outside of the KW network. How to join a team and invite network. So how to join a team? Um, if you're wanting to join a team, you may need to speak with your market center staff or find a team that you're looking to join. 
Um, if you're looking for a team, like if you're looking for like a team to send um, like referrals to, to a team, um, you most likely, it depends on how that is all set up. You may need to just look for their name, uh, like the Rainmaker's name of the team or whoever that person that has the team is. Um, and then we will be going over some of that information on how to find people. We haven't quite gotten there yet. Okay, how to do invite without sending referral. How to invite some, Mary Beth, about how to invite somebody to join your referral network. Again, you can um, you can simply, like, when, we'll go over that in just a little bit, but you'll there's a referral map. Um, it just depends on where, where you're looking for, but I'll show you in just a moment how to do that. Okay. All right, so again, um, we just went over, you do have the option to um, add as your favorite, or you can also add tags here. Um, if you add a tag, again, it's just kind of an easier way to, you can search that way, or when you're scrolling through here, you're able to see um, whatever made the tag that you have created. Um, you can, if they are um, say like a staff member, because um, KW staff that do have also, like they do have referral profiles, even though they're not quite active agents, um, or if you're the agent's part of a team um, and for whatever reason, their team name, just like the way they have it set up, it's not showing a team name. You can put the team name as a tag. There's just, a, again, just like in contacts, there's a lot of different options of what you can use the tags for. So you can tag it to however you would like. All right. So you also have over here in the top, you also have this star which when you click it is going to um, pull up any agents that you have starred. So that is another cool thing whenever you, oh, is it not wanting to alert? No. Sorry, see, that's what's command just needs a little, little TLC sometimes, just a little patience. But whenever you click the star over here on the right, any agents that you have starred, um, it will pull, it will show just those agents that are starred. And then I'm just going to unclick it and then it's going to remove that. So it's going to show all of the agents again. Okay. So you also notice that um, the first name, if you, if you give this a click, it is a different way of sorting through um, shows a different like filter on how you can search through these the people in your referral network. So you can do first name Z through A, last name A through Z, last name Z through A, however you want to um, view those. You also have the grow my network option, which when you click grow my network, it's gonna take you to your referrals map. And this is gonna be how you can search for different agents to add to your referral network. Now under the referral map, there is going to be a few different ways that you can search for people. So one of those ways is by production. So if you type in the area you're looking for, um, I'm based out of Atlanta, so I'm just going to go to Atlanta. Now this is going to give a very broad area um, of what you're typing in the search for. So as you can see here, again, um, this is a huge area, nothing's populating, but as you zoom in, let me find where that area goes. As you zoom in further to a certain area, say you're looking for a an agent that services Midtown. So we're gonna zoom in on the Midtown area. There we go. And as you can see, these little red pins, these little red pins are going to be transactions that have taken place in this area by KW agents. It's like it's spazzing out today. I don't know what's going on. Let's zoom in a little more. So as you can see, um, these agents named are going to pop appear over here. And as you, let's see if I can find one. So whenever you hover over, there we go. Whenever you hover over these red pins and you see how over here, this agent's going to light up, it's gonna turn red. This agent, Rick Hale, he is the one that um, was the agent for this transaction. So 
you can search by agents that way and you can click the drop down and this is going to give a lot of that information that we were able to see um, previously before you're able to click on the agent's name and it's going to take you to that same referrals profile that um, we were looking at before so over here again when you click the drop down arrow it's going to kind of just give a little bit of the information if you click on the name, it's going to open up that referrals profile that we were editing for um, for us. So that's how you can see what it looks like when um, another agent's viewing it. If you wanted to add this agent to your referral network, there is this little icon right here that has the little uh, man in a, a square frame. You can click on that to add to your referral network. It's going to send them an invite. Or if you just want to send this agent a referral, you can click on um, the little icon next to it with the arrow going up. And that will send a referral and you just follow that um, the steps to send the referral that way. So this is kind of how you do production. This is if you're just kind of searching for any agents in that area, um, things like that. So it's a great way to just kind of browse all of the um, agents. Now, another cool thing that you can do is let's go back to Zoom just a little bit. So you'll see that this um, search result yields, uh, with the zoomed in as much as we have, 57 results. You are able to um, filter. So you can filter by language is spoken. If you have um, a client that speaks a certain language and you need somebody to accommodate that, you can search by here. You can search by closed units in this specific area. So if your, say, client is wanting to move to this area and you want somebody who knows this area well, um, you can make sure that they've actually worked in this area. Um, you can just do however many closed units they may have done in general, listing sold, things like that. There's a lot of different filter options. So let's do at least one closed and one listing. So let's apply filter. Again, commands just being a little slow today. Let's see, let's do two and two. Looks like all the agents in this area have done some good work. So, oh, there it goes, 43. See, it just takes a minute. So it kind of narrows down the result. If you're wanting to make sure an agent has a little more experience or more things like that, you can um, filter those search results also. So that's how you can do um, using the production. Now, if you don't want to search just by general area for agents, um, or like if you don't, if you have a client and you don't really know exactly like a squared off area like this, you can also do market centers. So let me go ahead and clear these results. And I'm going to zoom back out. All right, and then so you can see when you go to market centers, it's going to um, show you the market if it wants to work, if it wants to cooperate today, that is. It's going to show you um, the market centers in the general Atlanta area. Um, so, yeah, it's not loading everything that there is because there's actually, if, in case you didn't know, Atlanta has quite a few different market centers, but you can say, oh, an agent, well, you know, a client midtown area so you can click on the little icon here and it's going to show you the market center when you click on it it's going to show you the agents in that market center specifically well i mean at least it should it's it does not seem to want to cooperate today Try to give it a refresh. Wow. 
All right, so we'll click on the icon. You see, it shows zero agents here, which that's not correct, but I don't know what's going on with command today. But basically, it's going to do the same thing as when we did the search via production. It's going to pull all the agents that are associated with that market center. Um, and then you are able to click the filter. You can filter the search results um, according to anything you're specifically looking for. Um, you can. It's still going to have the arrow for the little option to view their statistics. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, but yeah, and then you're able to kind of just search that way. So you're able to add people via their market center. You also have your My Network. This is going to show all of the agents that are in your referral network specifically. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but basically it will, sh it will show the little pings of all the agents that are currently in your referral network through across um, the United States, Canada. And then you also have the referral patterns. This is going to show um, referral patterns and basically like where they originated, where they were sent to. Um, the best way to search for the worldwide associates is to choose, mark, choose the market center in the dropdown. The referral patterns isn't really used too much as far as um, as far as looking for agents to send referrals to and things like that, it's just kind of show you like the referral patterns, but, <clears throat> but yeah, production and market center are going to be probably the two best options um, for when you're searching for um, agents and things like that. Me too. Do not show up anything under market center search. Yeah, Mary, but I think that there has to be something going on, but again, um, Anybody who's used command before and works in command often knows that command has its good days and command has its bad days. Um, again, a lot of times whenever it's not operating too efficiently, sometimes that's because they're doing some kind of update, which uh, KW has released a lot of great updates recently. So we're assuming that that's what it is. There's probably something amazing on the way. So that's it's pretty awesome. All right, so guys, go ahead again. Go ahead again. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the um, in the chats in the chat box. So I can make sure I go over those for you. So over here on, um, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our my referral section next. Um, with the my referral section, um, you're gonna see any sent or received referrals. Um, you can see pending, active, funded, lost, expired, or canceled rejected and all. Um, so whenever you have a referral, um, you'll see them like when they come in. So any referrals that you received, you should have the option to um, you know accept the referral um, and you can view the information. Um, if you, as you see here, there's a little eye. Um, it keeps the information, sorry, it keeps the information confidential until the moment that the sender awards the referral. Um, this is going to be how you can kind of keep track of all of the referral information. It shows things such as um, the referral location, notes, um, the percentage price range, things like that. It has a lot of information about the referral for you. And you're also, if, you, if you've received a lot of referrals, you do also have the filter option. Um, so you can filter through, through those search results also. Did we have any questions? Is there anything else I can uh, go over with you? I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. That's gonna be it for today's class, but I'm more than 